Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy back with another Fairmont project video. Sick of them yet? I'm not. What am I doing? Front brakes! Uh, we have the front suspension and uh, steering pretty well hooked up. Now it's time to put some spindles on here for a five lug conversion, but also these massive front brakes that we'll be installing with our dual piston front calipers. Hopefully she'll stop as good as she goes. That's the intent. I'll need to put this on first. It's something I thought of. I don't have a splash shield for this, but I'm going to look into it. So I may come back and install a splash shield. Um, remove this and the protective covering. That little bit of grease on there should just slide into place. There we are. 35 millimeter. Now, before you get your panties all in a bunch, because I didn't torque down the spindle nut, know that I'm going to go back and do it again at a later date, but also know that the torque spec is 221 to 295 foot-pounds, or 3 to 400 newton meters. So in other words, it's pretty stinking tight as it is, and I don't even think the impact actually achieved that. But just know, I'm going back to fix it later, so calm down. Feels nice. Before I get too far, I'm going to install my brake hose. All right, well, I just made a very important discovery. Uh, before I started shooting, I tested to see if these lines would screw down on here, and I found out that the size of fitting that was on here was not the correct size for these lines. Well, I changed both fittings, and now I come to find out that one of these lines has one size fitting, the other side has the other size fitting. Therefore, I had to go back and redo the fitting on this side. Not happy about that. Anyway, we now return to our regularly scheduled brake line installation already in progress. Works really good when it's the right size. Let's do the other side. No, I'm not running ABS. These just come with the tone rings. No need for ABS, cause race car. I'll be honest, soap and water are a better choice for this than brake clean. But this cleans off rust inhibitor. These are massive and heavy. But they do look right at home, don't they? I was just laughing, thinking, these brakes are almost as big as the wheels that used to be on here. They were 14 inch wheels. And these are like 12 inch brakes. A little trick, help keep the rotor from going somewhere when you're putting the caliper on. Important note, these rotors are marked right and left. They're directional. So look for the R and the L. This one's on R. My new caliper, um, gonna put the bracket on first. It would be nice to see some new shims there, but I guess, these don't have the shims. Okay, came with some new hardware in my kit. I'll put links in the description to all this stuff. There were some clearance issues with the back brakes. I'm just making sure that isn't the case with these fronts. Looks pretty good. Although I will say, I either have run out in that bearing or, yeah, something's not right. Yeah, it's not on there all the way. Not round. It's either the hub is not straight or the rotor, one of the two, but you can clearly see that something is not right. Now it could be that I don't have the wheel bolted down and it needs that wheel bolted down, but it's uh, way off.
All right, here's another mystery that got solved off camera, and that is after bolting the wheel down, this rotor came out straight and true. So it was just some strange anomaly. Maybe there's a little something between the hub and the back of the rotor, not sure. But once the wheel was bolted down, everything was fine. All right, I know this rotor's warped. There's nothing I could do about it today, but I want to make this into a roller. It's not going to be that big a deal to come back in and replace the rotor. The components will be new. I just need to jump in, swap it out. Like I said, I know there's an issue here, but I'm just putting it together for now so I can bleed the brakes. I don't even have an engine yet, so I got time to solve this problem. First time I've seen this, these little rubber pads came with the brake kit and that's about the only place I can find where they go. And they fit in there perfect. I guess they're to help with anti-rattle, something of that nature. It appears you can't put those in until after they're on there. Makes sense. Locks them into place. One last insertion of the pin. And now we attach the brake line. Had to sort of see how it goes up on there. Okay, let's take what we've learned here, translate it to the other side of the car. I know I want the brake line to attach to the back of the caliper. I want this flat side facing that. It was exactly the opposite a moment ago and I flipped everything around, loosened the brake lines to do that because I don't want to twist this or stress this in some way. I want this to just hang just like it is right now to where there's little to no stress on it. No, I didn't put anti-seize on this side. It just got everywhere. I don't think it's going to do any good in this case. finishing touch. Now it's time to bleed the air out. And yes, I'm using the old school method of Brian in the driver's seat. Looking for a good brake pedal. We've got some high performance hoses all the way around. High performance brakes, brand new all the way around. Warped road around the right, I know, but I will deal with that. You know how to bleed brakes. Here we go. I'm gonna start by just gravity bleeding. So I'm gonna open up these two front ones and just let it flow. I replaced 
the hard line that goes from uh, the proportioning valve over to this right side front last night. Uh, in a previous video, I had replaced that line and had a couple of kinks in it. I rebent it, no more kinks. So there's a long way to go to get to this wheel as far as uh, getting fluid out. And we wait. Wonder how long we should wait. Are you comfortable? <laughs> yeah, it's great. I'm gonna close up that other side and we'll bleed this one. Does it feel more badass? Yeah. yeah. Don't notice any difference at all? No. How could I? It looks exactly the same as the Well, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Including the, the purple cup holder. I don't know, I, I, I felt the vibe as soon as I put the uh, differential in it. I felt a different vibe. All right, pump it. Hold it. Hey, there's some air. Pump it. Hold it. Yes, I did remember to put the bleeders on, on the upside, not the downside. Hopefully this process won't take as long as a result. All right, pump it. Hold it. I'm thinking you should be starting to feel some kind of brake pedal. Yeah, a little at the end, a little towards the floor. Okay. All right, pump it. All right, you can let up. I'm just gonna top that off. Make sure it's good. How's it feel now? What happened is, is it's working. <laughs> we're, we're so not used to it. <laughs> All right, pump it. How's the brake pedal? We're not doing this again. <laughs> okay, so there's, there's air in there somewhere. It's probably towards the back. Because we did have that system open for a while. But most of the stuff in the front is gone. All right, pump it. Hold it. That's seen a lot there. Pump it. Hold it. How's it feel? Once you get it built back up, like right now, it's, it's a brake pedal. That's a brake pedal. But you gotta get it pumped up. Yeah. All right, well this is what I want you to do. When I say pump it, I want you to pump it to the point where you've got that. Okay. And then we'll go from there. We'll go from there. All right, pump it. Okay. I'm not getting any air back here. I'm going to try those fronts. Pump it. Pump it. Odd thing is, is I'm not seeing any air. Nothing. No air at all. And you say you don't have a pedal till you pump it up. Well, we just had the weirdest problems bleeding brakes on this car. Partly it was my fault, but it seems to be a recurring theme even though everything's right now. All right, pump it. Yeah, there's no air coming out of here at all, anywhere. I mean, everything says that you should have an awesome brake pedal. It's moving? Yeah, the brakes are moving every time you step on the, on the brakes. Like, it's consistently got a pedal? Yeah. Like, every time? Yeah. All right. We're calling that done. Well, cameraman Brian says it's got a good brake pedal. I say it's got a good brake pedal. I checked it myself. Unfortunately, we can't go for a test drive because we're sort of missing an engine. But when we do, we'll find out how well it stops. But that's how you do the installation. Bleeder valves go up. Those of you that watch the other video know how important that is. Aside from that, uh, I'll put links in the description to all the stuff that I used uh, in case you want to use it yourself or just uh, figure out why I was struggling so much. I'll also put a link in the description to ericthecarguy.com, which is where I ask that you go if you have automotive questions. 
Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, if you wish to connect with me socially. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.